Hey now YouTube, Joey brings it back again. Kelly coming at you live from the West Coast, the best coast. Gonna talk some cards here on this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous Friday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just got back from watching my baby girl Sammy play her varsity soccer game. We won four to one, first place. Man, watching my girl play soccer, one of the highlights of my day, no doubt, man. Totally. My wife was there, my boys were there, the whole family, awesome, so much fun. It's nice and quiet here, I'm back at work. The calm before the storm, before my tax season hits, it's gonna be cray cray in here. I'm gonna talk some cards, guys. I'm gonna show support to one of my buddies on here, G's Mikey, he has a Roberto Clemente contest going on. I'm gonna put a link down below. I'm gonna show five cards, guys, actually six. Cards are gonna be very, very nice. You're gonna love them, man. I'm gonna drop some bombs on your moms. Trust me, man, you guys are gonna like it. Stay tuned the way I like to do here on my channel, guys. It's Joey Brings It. We're talking cards. West Coast Cali, here we go. All right, guys, so this is in support of my brother, G's Mikey. Man, he has one of the coolest channels here on the tube. There is a Roberto Clemente contest giveaway right there. Check it out. I'm going to put a link down below. Man, Mikey, man, ultimate collector. He collects all kinds of things, all kinds of cards, um, autographs, Hall of Famous, sets. He's, a, man, one of the best set, set builders here on the tube. You got to check out G's Mikey, guys, one of the best channels. And this is, like I said, a Roberto Clemente contest by G's Mikey. So I'm going to show a Roberto Clemente card. This is what I got, guys. Roberto Clemente out of Puerto Rico. Check out that. 1970 Kellogg's. Part of the 300. Great cards by Mike Payne. And these cards are absolutely fabulous. Very affordable if you want to start dabbing into vintage. Man, one of the coolest channels on here. The Mangini Collection. John has been touting these cards, telling everybody how cool they are, how fun they are, how affordable they are. Check them out. Check out John's channel, one of the best here on the tube. Man, these cards are great, man. Roberto Clemente out of Puerto Rico. And so the first card I'm going to show, showing my uh, heritage and G's Mikey's heritage. We're both American of Mexican descent. So who else was I gonna show other than the legend, the great one, Fernando Valenzuela, El Toro. Man, creator of Fernando Mania. If you guys have not watched that ESPN uh, 30 for 30 documentary, you gotta check it out. One of the best on ESPN. And the way I like to collect. What else, guys? It's an autograph with the Jim Mint 10 auto grade. Look at that signature, man. Absolute perfection. Rookie of the year, Cy Young, with the young Mike Sosha on the card to boot. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Absolutely awesome. The next card I'm going to showcase here, another player of Latin descent. A legend, a Hall of Famer. Check this out. Tony Perez. Look at that card, man. We are talking Mr. Perez out of Cuba with the 1975 SSPC autograph. The way I like to do it, guys. The only way I like to do it. Jim Mint 10 autograph. PSA DNA Red Flip Light House holder. Look at that perfect autograph, man. Like I said, you guys want cool semi-vintage cards at an affordable price, check out the 75 SSPC, reminiscent of the 1953 Bowman color set, all photography, beautiful, man, absolutely beautiful. I love this card. Next card I'm gonna show, talking about a Hall of Famer. We're talking about Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez out of Puerto Rico. Look at that card, man. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 1992 Tops Gold. 
in a jam in 10. This one is not autographed, but it is what I collect, which are the tops, rookie cups, the trophy cards, and the cup cards. Man, absolutely gorgeous. What is up, Mike? Baseball collector. How do you like that one? Texas Rangers hat. I know you like that one, buddy. Speaking of Mike, baseball collector, if you have not checked out his 2020 YouTube Hall of Fame nomination going on right now, you got to check out his channel. Um, hey, man, start finding a bunch of great channels here on the tube. There's so much new content in 2020. It's unbelievable. Baseball Collectors Hall of Fame contest going on right now. The YouTube Sports Card Collecting Hall of Fame. So let's keep up. Card number four in this showcase. I told you I was going to bring the fire. Check out this card, man. We're talking 1953. Bowman Colors. What is up, Alex? Bowman 53. How do you like that one, brother? Look at that perfect autograph right up the bat. None other than Orestes. Minoso, better known as Mini, with the Gem Mint 10 PSA DNA Auto Grade Perfection. Those of you who don't know, I'm doing this set twice at the same time. Tag team, however you want to call it, man. Switch hitting. I'm doing the PSA graded cards, trying to get those done in about a PSA 6. And I'm doing, at the same time, simultaneous, the PSA DNA registry side autograph set the whole set will i ever get it done i don't know i'm about 40 percent done this is one of my favorite cards from their mini minoso out of cuba what is up my brother jonathan cuban collector how do you like that one i know you like that one you have that one in your collection gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love it and the final card probably out of all these cards my favorite none other then 1967 American League rookie stars, none other than Rodney Klein Carew, Hall of Famer, his rookie. The way I like to collect guys, this one's dual service, PSA dual service, VGX4, but more importantly to me, auto grade gem in 10. Man, in my goes into my Hall of Fame autograph, PSA DNA set registry side. Look at that autograph perfection sporting that tc twin city hat what is up dustin and blake how do you like that one what is up to josh iska fan where you at brother i know you're a big tc uh collector man one of my favorite cards no doubt so i think i showed a pretty good range a pretty good variety right here you know not expensive cards this Tony Perez, 75 SSPC. You don't have to get it autographed. Just get a nice raw copy, three to five bucks, a nice raw copy, put it in the binder. Cards that if you've never seen them, you're gonna fall in love. Great photography, nothing but the photo, beautiful vibrant colors. Man, it's got the Robin Yount rookie. It's got the George Brett rookie. What is up, Dave? Blue Jacket 66, man. This card, you get it raw, it's not expensive either. Then we get into the mid-range cards. You know, you want to get a nice Fernando Valenzuela autograph. You know, now you're starting to get up into the $100 range. You want to get a Roberto Clemente 70 tops in what I have, a PSA 5. You know, we're talking maybe 40 bucks, not a lot. You know, Mini Minoso in a Gem in 10 auto. Now we're up into the, I would say into the $200 range. And if you've got the will and the discipline to save, or you're just loaded, man, get a Gem in 10, Rodney Klein Carew, rookie autograph in the Gem in 10. You know, we're talking, that's gonna be over, my opinion, over $400. But man, you don't have to get that card like that. You don't have to get that card at all. You can get other cards, man. This hobby is vast. There's so much to collect. There's so much to explore. Choose what you love, collect it, what you can afford. Have fun with it, man. Let's do contests. Let's support each other. Man, let's show cards. Let's get to know each other's collections. That's why Jeez Mikey is having this contest. That's why Baseball Collecta is having the YouTube Hall of Fame contest. Man, dang it. 
That's why my brother Snoop went on his Titanic video rant last night. And all I have to say is one thing, guys. It's Joey Brings It. Signing off from Cali. God bless. Have a good weekend. And turn your phone like that.